Hello everyone, we're all good. A big thank you to everyone out there who likes, shares and comments and subscribes on this channel. Let's see what's going on today in Liverpool City Centre. Sometimes you can't do right and wrong. You can't win for losing. You know, you're out here doing your thing, filming. You know, someone will come up to you and say, look, you can't film me. Well, I'm not filming you, but you just kind of made it all about you. So, what's going on? I just had that little bit of, bit of a confrontation. And me being me, you know, unfortunately, as a human, I'm flawed. And I react. And it doesn't make you feel good. Ball Street, Liverpool. Plenty of restaurants up here. There's nice Albert Skulls. If you love a bit of German sausage. Got a mobile phone there and a bus pass. What's going on? You know what's, you know what's going on here? Yeah, they want to show you the ball. Yeah. You know more than me then. Yeah. See you later. have a huge gathering protest today, a Palestinian one. Never actually covered one of these before, so this is a first. Let's see what goes on here, eh? Have a little chat with people at the Willis or so. Stana has blood on his hands, free Palestine. Oh, thank you. Famous Billy, eh? Yes. <laughs> How are you? Okay. I know your mate in Southport who does this stuff. Oh. Paul. Oh, yeah. Lovely fella. Say hello to Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> So why are you here? I'm here to tell Keir Starmer that uh, Palestine will be free and that we demand a ceasefire and you've got blood on your hands and I'm here for some chicken and chips. <laughs> <laughs> we 
where, where was the Scouts accent from there? <laughs> from Wakefield. Well, do you chicken and chips? Yeah, chicken and chips is right. Chicken and chips? Chicken and chips. Oh, nice one for your time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little bit ignorant to what's going on here, but I have no idea, you know, or understand Palestine, Israel. I've been speaking to people as if they've um, been going along and they've been telling me. You know, there's a lot of blood on Keir Starmer's hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. What's the question? Answer the question. I'm looking for answers. Anyone want to answer the questions? No? Anyone want to answer the question? What do you believe these marches will achieve? I believe we need some kind of ceasefire and peace. And that's what your, your aim is? Well, I'm a peace campaigner. What's your name? Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. Big question, right? Sure Hang on. What do you think? These, these marches will achieve? What I'm hoping that they're going to achieve is that, we're, we're, first of all, we've got Labour in town, haven't we? So we've got to make sure that they know that, that we, uh, we're not standing do you think, do you think Labour will put an end to the war? Absolutely not, because they're in the pocket of uh, Zionists, aren't they? So they're not going to stop. But what we're going to have to do is show them if they don't stop, that this is going to continue. That we're going to continue, there's going to be more and more people. Every time we come out, there's more and more people getting the leave. To anything that's going on and going, yeah, fair views, what they're saying is right. Nobody wants to see kids being killed. No, of course not. Like, um, you know, I, I think I said to you, like, last time 20,000 kids being killed or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> Just teach him. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously, like, nobody wants to see uh, uh, little birds, kids being killed and things like that. 20,000 kids that we know of, thousands more that can be buried under rubble and things like that. Nobody wants that. So, this is hopefully going to be building up, building up, more and more people building up, and then things are going to change. When you have enough people uh, doing it, it's going to change. And the outcome's peace. Yeah, of course it is, of course it is. We need, we need everybody in that area to all be living in peace, and that's the thing, like... That never happened, will it? It can, it can do, it can do. It just has to be, there has to be a state there which is for everybody and not for a few. For the many, not the few. That, that was Labour's old slogan, isn't it? So I think it's not anymore. Like, Starla, you're a muppet. <laughs> Food. I'm not a big fan of this to be fair, but the family are.
wants to answer a question online? No. Why not? If you have any questions, you can uh, pass them to the media unit, please. It's only if you've never been to Hooters. No. You have. I can no. tell by the way you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's been to Hooters. You have. <laughs> Cheers. Just said to him, has he ever been to Hooters? He said, no, he really started smiling. He's been to Hooters, you have. <laughs> See you later. Really Everton will win today. I hope so because I want Everton to stay up. It's a fantastic ground. I'm a Liverpool supporter, but I want Everton to win because most of I'm from Southport, so most of my mates are from Southport who support Everton. So I like Everton. Thank you. And I really wish them well. Because it's great to have a live at Merseyside Derby. I, and I've known it ever since I was a kid. The Merseyside Derby is a fantastic. So I hope Everton stay up. Thank you. My mates support Everton. It's like that. He's a red. But he wants a good old blue team to stay up. I think Dyke needs to go if we keep losing like we are. Like we're playing like a proper like Yeah, we're playing shit. We're playing, we're playing absolutely terrible. Useless. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. You're having a big pro-Palestinian march. You want to stop arming Israel? Maybe have a little look into what's going on in the world of politics, eh? But then again, kind of like the fact that I'm quite naive around it all. I'm not really aware. That way, I don't get myself into trouble because you can start taking sides, can't you? Who's right, who's wrong? And what stance do you take? And at the minute, I don't take any stance independently. Bring in your consent. San Carlos. It's cheap in there, isn't it? How cheap is San Carlos? Can I ask you a question? Come on, you look super cool. Come here. What's your name? My name is Dimitrios. What's it like in here? San Carlos. Is it cheap? Uh, it is a uh, good value of money. I hear the, 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 the 18. In town. <laughs> I hear it's 18 pounds just for the buzzy. Yeah, brother. <laughs> if you have money, you can enjoy it. Thanks, Giro. Thank you, brother. San Carlo's there, the shell and sausage rolls for 30 pounds. <laughs> can I ask you a question, brother? What hair products do you use? Hmm? What hair product? I don't know, it's some shit my sister buys, but I couldn't tell you. Watch, lad. Thank you. Thank you. It is absolutely bustling with activity in Liverpool City Centre. I love this place. It's incredible. They're the best place on the planet. Good luck! Lonely by the days and out of her way Georgie, yes, how are you? How are you? Yeah. That she just can't touch Hey, Georgie! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
车，边个都难识你。Leaf is very popular, all those queues here. You love a bit of turkey food. <laughs> Can you smoke that? You're smoking that, aren't you? See you later, love. Look at that. Smoking the green. She's selling buds there, you know. Where he's from? Where he's going? Um, Prince Pedro's. Prince Pedro's, what's happening there? Bottomless brunch. Ooh, enjoy. Get on these now. I bet you'd any money you're going to Crazy Pedro's for a bottomless brunch. Oh, yeah. Get on these now. I bet you'd any money you're going to Crazy Pedro's for a bottomless brunch. Oh, yeah. You just spoke into No, no, no. <laughs> enjoy your time in Liverpool. Yeah, it is. That's it. He's gonna go down. Hello, Mandis. Hello, Mandis. What's his name? Hello, lads. Where are you all going? Brunch club. Ah, yeah. Brunch club, yeah. You all enjoy. Oh my God, look at you all. Loads of. I better get off before I get attacked. How are you, lads? You're nice. Seen you on YouTube. What's your name? Phil. Phil, lovely to meet you. On YouTube. What's going on? Say hello, Phil. <laughs> this is Phil. Hi, mates. All right. Where are you from? Where are you? Hiya. Oh, Hayton. Two dogs, lad. What? Two dogs. Two dogs. Got one now, one died a few six months ago. And the other fella, um, his habits have changed, you know. He won't out, eat out of his bowl. Oh, yeah. And he bolted and used to go up the window. How old are you now? 77. Looking well, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, am I? Oh, you're not bad. Have a good night. What's going on? Get on Shelly. Hey. Get on Shelly. I know we're on Shelly. What's going on with... Oh, there's a pro-Palestinian march, isn't he? Are you today? Yeah, that's why it's been so busy. Yeah. What about... Um, what, what about the government? What do you make of the government? What, what's going on at the moment? The government's are all bollocks, aren't they, I think. It's all right. Yeah, absolute shite. Yeah. They're all in it for the money. There you have it, right? So we sign off once, once again. Thanks for watching. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Take care. Lovely half of it. Once again, thanks for watching. <laughs>